first of all, check the modules that are online. Now select the correct harness to two channels, 16 rows. Save and restart the module. Now enter the number of rows. Now add a planter monitor channel. So add the channel. Now add the settings. So we'll set up this up as no feedback. So that means there's no feedback from the hex shaft. And now we will enter the number of rows. If you are using feedback, you also need to include the gear ratio between the feedback sensor and the C disk. Now we'll add a granular, granular monitor channel. And we'll also enter the settings. So we'll say no feedback. We would now have to turn the manual ground wheel to calculate the spreader constant. Once that is done, it will generate a new value for your spreader constant entered here. Now we'll just check the operations. So we have two operations. Now we will do the settings for the monitoring materials. So first we'll set the plant monitor. So we set the target rate. The max rate, the min rate, the increment value. This is related to the increase and decrease buttons on the work screen. And we need to enter in the seeds per disk. Now we set up our alarm limits. And we'll do the same for the granular fertilizer. So I've just noticed that the, the material is set up as a seed. So we just need to change that to a fertilizer. So in the configuration menu, we change it from a seed to a fertilizer. And it will automatically create a new material for us fertilizer material. Now we'll set up the parameters for that material. So your target rate. Now 
and we just need to include the Now we just need to include the acceptable um, failure rate. So the minimum in this case is two seeds every one second. And we'll just change the shaft speed back to two RPM. Geometry. We'll just move the application for the seed, which is actually, sorry, this one. Now we just need to set up the sensors. So we have 16 sensors for the planter operation on the master module. Just press auto config. Press next. Now press auto config. We've now successfully set up population and blockage sensors. Accessories, we have no accessories, and now we just need to set up the work screen. at the area meter. On the next page we can set up the quality bar graph. We can also add in the task controller status. Now we'll add the blockage bar graphs for the fertilizer. So select this MP square, population, operation two. Okay, and that concludes the setup of the ISO 6 for planter monitor.